Hi, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you just a quick weekly grocery haul. So since we've moved, my weekly grocery hauls have been a little bit bigger than an average, my normal grocery hauls, just because we're trying to stock back up on things um, and just kind of get a feel for um, prices and kind of how my new grocery shopping and new routines are going to be since we have moved. So I'll be sharing with you what I got from two of my local grocery stores, from Albertsons and from Smith's. Okay, so here's everything I got from Albertsons and Smith's this week. Sorry if there's any background noise, they are working on installing sprinklers in our backyard. Um, but I got some bananas. I can't remember how much they were per pound. I'll make sure that I put the total price what I paid it over here. But I had a digital coupon for a dollar off any produce purchase of a dollar or more. Um, all of these Tillamook six ounce yogurt cups were 49 cents with the digital coupon. So I got two of the huckleberry, two strawberry, two raspberry, two peach, two marionberry, and then a cherry and a vanilla for my girls. They've been really liking yogurt lately. On their clearance rack, they had some candy. Um, so I got some icebreakers for my car. I got a big thing of M&Ms and then there was one other candy bar that we got, but we already ate it. So here's, again, everything I got from Albertsons. I'll put my total just right here. And then for Smith's, this is what I got from Smith's this week. My hauls have been looking a little bit bigger because I'm still trying to stock back up after our move on things. And so um, my weekly hauls are a little bit bigger and a little bit more expensive than they were back in Utah when I had a pretty good supply and stock of things. Um, but they were having my favorite milk sale for $1.29 for the half gallon. So I got five of those. We were completely actually out of milk. So it's a good thing I got those. And then they had different post cereals on sale for $1.29 per box. So I got two of the Oreos. My daughter and my husband really like those. And then I got three of the s'mores because all of us like those. We usually just have those for treats or snacks. And then they had strawberries on sale for, um, I think it was around $2 for the two pound packages. So I got two boxes of those. Um, those were just on a regular sale. We have been eating through those like crazy. We already had some for our lunch, so that's why there's some missing. And then grapes were 99 cents a pound. The green grapes were with a digital coupon. So I got a bag of those. Those were about two or three pounds. Um, for clearance, I got this eight pack of yogurt. I went to Smith's second, which is why um, I bought so much yogurt from Albertsons. But this yogurt expires within like a week and my girls can easily go through all eight of these within a week. Um, They've already had some of them for their lunch. So we'll eat all of these before they expire. And then the Tillamook ones are good through the end of July, even into the beginning of August. So those will be good. Those should be good for like a whole month. Um, cottage cheese and sour creams were on sale for $1.49 each with a digital coupon. I got some cottage cheese to make like a quiche and some lasagna, I think, is what I'll end up doing with these, um, the sour creams. We usually go through like a three pound tub a month just for various toppings and recipes and stuff. Um, and it was cheaper to buy these three individually than to buy just the three pound bowl of it from Walmart. And so I got those and then I got two extras because we have two birthdays in July and two of the birthday cakes that I'm going to be making for my husband and for my daughter call for sour cream. So I got two extra ones just to make sure we have enough for all of those things. Um, also for my husband's birthday, we got him this Stonewall Kitchen red pepper jelly. He loves Stonewall Kitchen and we saw this on clearance for $2.40. So we got this just to wrap up for a fun little treat and birthday gift for him. And then over here we got some pretzel buns from the bread cart for $1.68. A little bit more than I like to spend for buns but again my husband really likes pretzel buns so whenever I see them I usually grab them for him. And then I got two four packs of burgers for $4.60 which is a pretty decent deal. This is the Smith's private selection which means that they are a little bit fancier, I guess, <laughs> um, than just their regular burgers. So these ones have um, triple cheddar, and then these ones are jalapeno and pepper jack. Originally they were $10, but on clearance they were just a little more than half off. Um, they expire soon, so I'll just toss these in the freezer, and then when we're ready to eat them, I'll pull them out that day, let them thaw, and we'll just grill them up and eat those for dinner. Um, one of the days we'll just do them with these pretzel buns. I forgot to share also one of our clearance finds. For $2, we saw this cute little pineapple pot with an air plant up on top. So this is gonna sit just in my kitchen window, right above my sink. I just think he's so cute and happy. So that's everything I got from Smith's and I'll put my total right over here. I'm gonna show you what we're making for dinner tonight, which is um, some sloppy joes, mac and cheese, and getting some fruit together. We are gonna be having some people over for dinner and I was just gonna show you what we're gonna make for them. Here's what you need to make the sloppy joes that we're having for dinner tonight. 
you need two pounds of ground beef that you're going to brown. You're gonna add a half, cup, a half cup of chopped onion. You can also add a cup of diced celery. I just don't have any of that today, so I'm just gonna skip that. You need a half teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of vinegar, a quarter cup of, quarter cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of ketchup, a can of condensed tomato soup, and then you also are supposed to have half of a teaspoon of Worcester sauce, but I don't have any of that right now. So I'm just gonna omit, omit that as well. So basically you just brown up your meat with your onions and your spices, and then you add the rest of the things to make a sauce. After that's all mixed together, um, you can just keep it on the stove to keep warm, or you can also put it in a crock pot to keep warm, warm until you're ready to eat. So here you can see I'm just putting the meat into my pan and getting ready to brown that with the onion. And then you'll see I'll add in the spices as well as the stuff to make the sauce. I really like that this meal is super easy to put together and tastes really good. And I also like that I can make it earlier in the day and just put it in the crock pot to keep warm. This is also a really good meal if you are feeding a crowd just because you can easily scale it up or down and easily adapt it to kind of what you want for your own sloppy joes. Um, I ended up adding a little bit more ketchup um, just because I wanted it a little bit more saucy than it ended up being. And then next you're going to see me start making the mac and cheese. So for this you're going to need five cups of milk, about a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground mustard, eight ounces of Colby Jack and eight ounces of cheddar, six tablespoons of butter, six tablespoons of flour, four cups or one pound of, mac of macaroni noodles, and then some breadcrumbs to top it with. So you basically melt down your butter, add in your flour, add in your milk and whisk it till it becomes thick. Then you add in your cheese, mix in your pasta noodles, and then you can top it with breadcrumbs and put it in the oven until it's all heated through. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.